Jesus, you are the king. Buddha, there is none like you. And every gift from you is a good gift that you bring. So blow spirit, blow and move like you've never moved before. Bring revival across the plains and shore to shore. We want more and we want more, we want more. And every morning I see the mist of your springs and I get baptized in the winds of your wind. Protector of our faith, you are the track that we race. God knows I didn't get here by wishing wells and good luck. I got here without a four leaf clover. When my king said it is finished, it was far from over. You came rushing back to life like a tidal wave of glory. And nothing could stop me when my God is for me. And nothing could stop me when you start praying to the one who created them. It's time you stop living average and you start to play to win. You are a warrior and a champion. You'll light the big fire when you understand it's God's camp you're in. And he says, a weapon formed against you that will prosper. That means no sickness, no slander, no gossiper. You are viewed the way he made you. It isn't a fake religion or dead God we pray to. Jesus is alive. I said Jesus is alive. And we rep our king to the day we die. And it's time we stand up and stand out. Who you are, it's time you stop wishing on stuff. We keep it easy lifestyle and handouts. We came to stretch our hands out and we came to live in presence. And we pray our lifestyle of excellence is presence in his presence. We love you, Jesus. This would be defining me, a journey of forming a legacy. And I didn't want that legacy to be ruined or neglected, so I looked at this world and I didn't accept it. I'm not going to be who you want me to be, no, I absolutely reject it. Because when I became a man, I picked up my cross and put down my shame. My sins were forgiven in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, my pain will forever remain an afterthought of who I be. But no longer am, because God saw fit to crucify the Lamb, so that I could land as though that I could land as though to the grace and find my rest in His holy place. Because He took my place, He took my pain, He took my nails, He took my hell, He took it all because He took my hell, He took it all because He had a plan. And for the first time, I saw it when I became a man. I want you to know tonight that God sees you and that he loves you. You might be The problem is with so many believers, so many people in the world today, they're too busy looking at their circumstances rather than God's sovereignty. Here they are looking at their trials and tribulations rather than trials and tribulations rather than trusting the Trinity. Uh, I'm going to look at my storms. I'm out of a job right now and that's all consuming to me and I'm just going to worry, worry, worry. He says, don't worry. So if you worry, it's a sin because you're doing something he said not to do. You say, you know, I don't trust because all these things are going wrong with my health, Clayton, my finances. You don't understand my broken relationships. My wife cheated on me. My husband me my kids don't want to have anything to do with me you don't understand and maybe I don't understand but what I'm confident is that Jesus can change your circumstances and he's gonna do it tonight but the problem is people look at the storm rather than the one who can calm the storm you're looking at tonight who are you trusting because if it's not Jesus it's not worth it